Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Welcome to Daily Dose Radio. This is our anniversary week. I'm so glad you've joined me today, and I hope you'll join me all this week as we celebrate two years podcasting the Psalms verse by verse over Daily Dose Radio. And I want to thank all the partners that have been a part of this. Creek Road Baptist Church, of course, is number one because they're behind our ministry of podcasting a daily five-minute Bible study, but also Spreaker.com because that's the platform that publishes Daily Dose Radio. I want to thank Spreaker and all the good people there that have done so much to make podcasting easy. And then all the others who are a part of this, I mean, we we go to SoundCloud and iTunes. Uh, iHeartRadio, of course, is a huge distributor of Daily Dose Radio. Clamor, we just got on Clamor, so if if you'd like the Clamor app, you can go to the iTunes app store and get Clamor. We're there now. We're also on some other places like uh, Twitter and on Facebook. Those are just to name a few. And I just want to thank everybody for being a part of this. Two years ago this week, we started broadcasting, or podcasting rather, a five-minute devotional from the Psalms. And we've been going from Psalm 1, and now we're two years later here at Psalm 84. That's where we are this week. So if you have your Bible, I want you to turn there with me to Psalm 84 as we look at a Psalm of the Sons of Korah. So we'll begin reading with verse 1 and read verses 1 and 2 today. But let me just begin with the introduction to this psalm, or the superscript, the title of the song. It says, To the Choir Master. Of course, we we know the Choir Master. He's a busy guy, isn't he? He's always being mentioned in these psalm titles. Upon the Gateeth. Now, that's probably a lyre or some sort of stringed instrument, either eight or ten strings. And it says, Of the Sons of Korah, a psalm. So, Sons of Korah here, another group like uh, the Jeduthun Choir and like the Heman Choir, like these folks that have been involved so far, Asaph and his group. Uh, David, of course, had a great many of the Psalms in the early books of the Psalter. But now we've come to the third book of the Psalter, and Asaph has been our primary writer. But now we have this group, the Sons of Korah. This We see Sons of Korah six times in Book 2. This is the first time in Book 3, and there are four other mentions of them here in Book 3, so we'll look forward to seeing more from the Sons of Korah. And um, this is the last time that we have in the Psalter the Gatith mentioned. So this is the last time we'll find upon Gatith in the Psalter. Uh, it's an interesting interesting piece of information. These musical notations really are fascinating, and I wish we knew more about what they all meant. Let me read for you. How amenable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Notice that first line there, how amenable. Uh, Probably a better translation of that would be how lovely. How lovely are thy habitations. Now this is a general statement because habitations is plural, and it's plural in the Hebrew. Your habitations is the way that's probably better translated. Your habitations, how lovely they are. Well, so he's not just talking about the temple or the tabernacle. Here he's talking about the dwelling places of those who believe in the Lord. Thy habitations really spreads its meaning across the living space of all those who love and trust the Lord God. So your home would be involved in that as well. How lovely is your home? You know, we might not think about that very often, but really your home is, if you're a believer, your home is a ministry site. It's a lovely habitation because the Lord God is there because of your belief. And then we have, O Lord God of hosts, that's going to be very important as we go through this psalm. Lord God of hosts occurs here in verse 1, in verse 8, and then at the very end in verse 12. So this entire psalm is framed by, O Lord of hosts. And notice that we're not beginning, and I've not tracked this here recently like I have in the past, but notice how we don't have this psalm beginning, O God. That has been the habit of the psalmist, whether David or Asaph, 
has given us, O God. Now, in the first book of the Psalter, we had, O Lord, the Lord's name, the Tetragrammaton used. But here in 2 and 3, books 2 and 3, we've had, O God, used very often. As a matter of fact, so much so that we don't even mention it any longer. But now we come to a psalm of the sons of Korah, and the psalm begins and ends with the statement, O Lord of hosts. So we're going to watch that very closely as we go through the Psalter, or this particular psalm, Psalm 84. Well, I hope you'll join me again tomorrow on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.